New at 10, a deadly crash caught on camera. Take a look at this video that we're showing you of the two vehicle crash. It's frozen right now. Then you see this car come flying into your screen and, and colliding with that semi truck. That two vehicle crash leaving three people dead. The crash happened at the intersection of Lee Trevino and North Loop. That's also where we find ABC 7's Rachel Phillips, who has been out there all afternoon. Rachel, the crash happened just before 1.40 this afternoon. What does that area look like right now? Well, Eric, the scene is actually cleared now. It cleared off at about 8.30. That's nearly seven hours since the crash initially happened. Now, they closed both Lee Trevino and North Loop in both directions. But as you can see, things are running smoothly now. So what you're looking at right here right now is astronomically different to what we saw earlier this afternoon. I do want to warn you that you may find some of the video to be disturbing. This is surveillance video of the crash captured by a nearby store. Let's zoom in to the intersection and I'll take you through this crash one step at a time. Let's pause the video here. Notice the 18 wheeler at the top right of your screen. That is one of the vehicles involved in this crash, so keep an eye on it. Let's play the video briefly before pausing it again here. This time, look at the top left of your screen. You'll see a silver Subaru. That's the other vehicle. Now, when I let this play in full speed, watch just how fast that silver car is traveling before it shoots into the semi. It takes less than two seconds from when it enters the frame here until it collides with the truck. That impact's so forceful, you see the semi truck lift off the ground and nearly tip onto its side before it bounces back. This is a closer look at that impact with our cameras. See the dent in the side of the semi truck and the debris below it. That's all from that chaotic collision. Police told me all three people who died were inside the Subaru. More than three hours after the crash, we saw extra emergency crews arrive to help remove them from the scene. It appears one person was thrown from the car. Crews took the person from the scene on a stretcher, and they had to use the jaws of life to remove the other two people from the vehicle. Police told me they're unsure how the driver of the semi is doing, but said no one else needed to be taken to the hospital. Now, there are still a lot of things that are unknown, like why the car was driving so fast and who are those three people that died inside the car. As soon as we learn those details, as well as any others, we should update you both on air and online at kbia.com. Now, reporting live from the Lower Valley, Rachel Phillips, ABC7.